Hi friends, welcome to today's class. So today's question is, what is the angle made by the hour hand and minute hand if clock shows 10:15? So we are asked to find out the angle between the minute hand and hour hand of a clock. So this is the first video on clocks. So clock, as you know, the clock is divided into 12 parts. We are having from 1 to 12. So 12, 1, 2, then 3, 4, 5, 6, then 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. So the clock is divided into 12 parts. So in order to find out our clock is forming a circle, you can say clock is forming a circle. In order to find out the angle made by the hour hand and minute hand. So the meaning is what is the angle between the minute hand and hour hand. The time is given, the time is 10.15. So the method to do this kind of question is you have to find out the position of the hour hand and minute hand on this circle. At this particular time, at this 10.15, what is the position of the hour hand and what is the position of the minute hand? You will be finding in terms of degrees. So once you get the position of the hour hand and position of the minute hand in degrees and you take the difference between them, you will be able to find out the angle between the minute hand and the hour hand. So that is the procedure here. So in order to find that, you have to know some basic concepts on clocks. As I told, a clock is a circle. So what is the total degree here or what is the total angle? It is 360 degree. So 360 degree is the total angle and 360 degree is divided into 12 parts. Since there are 12 aways, you can say 360 degree is divided into 12 parts. So one part will be having how many degrees? 360 degree divided by 12 is equal to 30 degree. So there is a 30 degree in between 12 and 1. Again a 30 degree between 1 and 2. Again a 30 degree between 2 and 3 and so on. So each hour will be having a 30 degree. So 30 degree, a clock of 360 degree is divided into 12 equal parts of 30 degree each. So 10, 15 means that is about the hour hand. So hour hand will be making an angle of 30 degree each hour. So 1 o'clock means totally 30 degree is subtended by the hour hand. Then what about when it is 2 pm? 2 pm means uh, the hour hand will be at a position of 60 degree. Then 3 pm means hour hand will be at a position of 90 degree and so on. So that way you can calculate the position of the hour hand. So here when you say what is the hour hand position, it is told it is 10 15 10 15 is given so 10 15 means our hand will be 10 10 means 10, if, it, if, you, if it was correct 10 am means what about the our hand position our hand position will be at 10 into 30 degree you have to just multiply 10 into 30 degree is equal to 300 degree okay so here there is 15 more minutes 15 more minutes are there so 10 15 am so 10 15 am means you have to find out the angle made by this 15 minutes also. So 15 minutes means how many hours? 15 by 60 hours into 30 degree. One hour will be making an angle of 30 degree. So 15 minutes will be making an angle of 15 by 60 into 30 degree. So what you will be getting? 7 and half degree or 7.5 degree. So finally this 10, 15 will be making a total position or total angle will be 300 plus 7.5. Or 307.5 degree. Our hand is at a position of 307.5 degree at 10.15. Now let's go to minute hand. What is happening to minute hand? So our hand as I told for each hour, our hand will be making an angle of 30 degree. How did we get it? A clock is totally of 360 degree and this 360 degree is divided into 12 equal parts. So 360 degree divided by 12 is equal to 30 degree. So for each hour, the angle can be obtained by multiplying that particular hour into 30 degree. So 10 am means 10 into 30 degree which gives you 300 degree. Then for this 15 minutes, you have to find out 15 by 60 into 30 degree. One hour totally will be making 30 degree. So you will be getting 15 minutes is equal to 15 by 60 hours. So 15 by 60 into 30 degree or 7.5 degree. You will be adding both. So you will be getting the position of the hour hand at 10, 15 is equal to 307.5 degree. Now what about minute hand? Minute hand you can say 60 minutes is equal to 360 degree. Okay. 
so here actually twelve hours is equal to three hundred sixty degree. So from there you got one hour is equal to thirty degree. Similarly, one hour or one clock, one circle, one circle is equal to sixty minutes. Sixty minutes is equal to three hundred sixty degree, or you can say one minute is equal to six degree. So here how many minutes? It is ten fifteen. So ten fifteen means fifteen minutes. Okay, so the minute hand will be purely at fifteen minutes. Our hand will be showing a position corresponding to ten a.m. and fifteen minutes. When it is ten a.m. only we can say correctly this our hand will be in ten. Okay, when it is ten fifteen means this our hand will be moving a little bit. That is, it will be moving a seven point five degree. That is what we found here. At ten a.m. means our hand is correctly at ten. You can easily say the angle is three hundred degree, but for fifteen minutes, this ten, our hand will be moving a little bit. That is what we found here. It is equal to seven point five degree. For this minute hand, you can directly find out for fifteen minutes, the minute hand will be at a position of fifteen into six, which gives you ninety degree. So your minute hand will be here. At correctly three, so it will be at ninety degree. We are telling this ninety degree angle with respect to tall. Okay, with respect to tall, if you see this minute hand will be at ninety degree. So when we are telling the position of our hand and minute hand, we are meaning the position with respect to this tall. So this our hand will be at a degree of three hundred seven point five degree with respect to tall. And this minute hand will be at ninety degree with respect to tall. So what about? So this is approximately ten fifteen. Okay. So ten fifteen means so this ten, this our hand will be making a degree of three not seven point five with respect to tall. So from here we when we are seeing it is three not seven point five, and this minute hand is making a degree of ninety degree with respect to this. So to find out the angle between minute hand and hour hand, you have to just make the subtraction. So what you will be getting? The angle between the hour hand and minute hand will be three not seven point five minus ninety degree. So we are having a common reference with respect to a common reference. The hour hand is making three not seven point five degree and minute hand is making ninety degree. So finally, you will be getting the angle between our hand and minute hand is equal to three not seven point five degree minus ninety degree. So what is your answer? It is equal to two hundred seventeen point five degree. So when you write the next question, it will be more clear to you. The second question is, what is the angle between the hands of a clock if clock shows five twenty five? So you have to find out what is the angle between the minute hand and our hand when the time is five twenty five. So first, let's find out the position of our hand. So how to find out the position of our hand? First, you have to multiply the particular hour with thirty degree. You know, three hundred sixty degree is equal to twelve hours. So one hour is equal to three hundred sixty divided by twelve is equal to thirty degree. So five hours will be equal to five into thirty degree, which gives you one hundred fifty degree. Then what about twenty five minutes? Again, five twenty five means at correct five, the hour hand will be at a position of one fifty degree. At five twenty five. The hour hand will be moving a little bit. Twenty-five minutes have passed, so our hand will be moving a little bit. So in order to find that, you have to convert this twenty-five minutes into our twenty-five by sixty into thirty degree, or it is twelve point five. Twenty-five divided by two, which gives you twelve point five degree. So the total total will be one fifty plus twelve point five, which gives you. One seventy-two point five degree. Then what about minute hand? Minute hand. What will be the position of minute hand? Three hundred sixty degree is equal to sixty minutes, or one minute is equal to six degree. So twenty-five minutes will be equal to twenty-five into six. So twenty-five into six will be equal to one hundred fifty. So what is the angle between our hand and minute hand? So our hand and minute hand in between angle will be equal to. The difference of the position of our hand and the position of the minute hand. So it will be 172.5 minus 150, which gives you 12.5 degree. So the angle between the our hand and minute hand is equal to 12.5 degree. So here the only thing is you have to remember one hour is equal to 30 degree and one minute is equal to 6 degree. So from that you can easily find out your answer. So one more question: What is the angle made by the hour hand and minute hand if clock shows 7:20? So 7:20 is the time. So first you have to find out the position of our hand. So our hand position will be equal to one degree is equal to sorry one hour is equal to 30 degree. For seven hours it will be equal to seven into 30 degree, which gives you 210 degree, 210 degree. And what about 20 minutes? So in 20 minutes the hour hand will be moving a 
little bit. So, 20 by 60 into 30 degree or 20 by 2 which gives you 200 which gives you 10 degree. So, totally this 720 will be making 220 degree. The position of our hand will be at 220 degree and what about the position of minute hand? Minute hand as you know 1 degree 1 minute is equal to 6 degree. 1 hour is equal to 30 degree and 1 minute is equal to 6 degree. So, 20 minutes will be equal to 20 into 6 degree which gives you total 120 degree. So, what will be the angle between our hand and minute hand? So, the angle between our hand and minute hand will be equal to 220 minus 120 degree which gives you 100 degree. Thank you for watching.